Oh, there we go. Um, yeah, you're probably going to have to drag me off the stage. Uh, okay, so tēnā koto katoa. My name is um, Akura. Now um, you're going to have to do a bit more reading. Um, unlike Emily, um, I'm at the beginning of my uh, journey to learn te reo. Um, here we go. So I was challenged with doing a talk on um, 3D imaging in museums. Uh, I do photography normally, and so it was great, but it's really just another sort of creation made, made possible by light. So for you guys on being kaitiaki, moving into these new spaces that are like coming from uh, te kori, from the void, what kind of implications do they have on us as a kaitiaki? They're, they could be creating new um, collections. Um, so, yeah. Tikanga for these digital spaces embedded with Māori and um, Wana Pacific data. Yeah, um, does the data become tonga? If data is a new form of tonga, should we 3D scan um, our Tonga Māori and Moana Pacific collections. Now that is um, pretty yeah, contentious and um, we'll see in the future how it goes, but there are um, you know, positives and negatives for um, either side. But I see 3D imaging as um, something positive and we can just mitigate um, the issues as they arise. And as um, you guys may have seen um, on the... Um, um, online, yeah, Curtain Gate earlier, well, last year. Um, and the reality is, is that this could happen uh, with anything that we create with um, 3D technologies. But it's, you know, it's going to be like a small number, really. All of our visitors, you've got to say, are, you know, over 99% great, almost 100. They're just lovely people. Um, so excuse my um, tomo kanga, <laughs> but I mean this is this is maybe what um, you know one one person may want to do, and that's to exploit um, you know uh, indigenous cultures. Um, but hey, it's not really going to happen. I see um, I see uh, 3D technologies as um, an opportunity for us to co-create, collaborate, and um, innovate with uh, people in those industries and communities. Um, and one of the examples, um, I was listening to um, Bob Marley, One Love, and um, indigenizing the latent space in museums, which is um, both phys um, physical in the galleries. We've got so much latent space that we could be making better use of, and as well in um, the digital uh, worlds that we um, create on the internet and as soon as we put on those devices. And so here is an example um, on YouTube from the talented um, Manavia. Um, po Kapua, uh, a gift to the nation, a gift to the world. Um, it, it really does show the potential um, 
that we can use um, in the GLAM um, sector to um, use these technologies for good. Um, and what I hope is that um, in the future we'll be given um, more opportunities to um, collaborate um, with, um, with communities on these because they, um, they really get you to understand um, sort of um, indigenous perspectives, um, you know, on spirituality and what it was like back um, in the past. It's a collapsing of um, cosmological space, essentially. So you go from um, a museum, you know, a neoclassical museum into a different world. Um, and also it's about um, monarchy. This is the potential of um, digital technologies um, for us to further extend our reach. Um, so, yeah. 3D technologies are portals. Um, we essentially, well, uh, become tohonga in the sense that we can see into um, other other realms um, that um, only um, you know um, you know gifted people um, could who could see um, who were like yeah, Faye could see spirits had um, had access to um, knowledge uh, that not everyone was. So. Um, I think that we need to commit to making um, the latent digital spaces in museums, um, sites of cultural safety and collaboration for Māori and Moana Pacific communities. Um, where, uh, you know, if like what I do, if I don't understand somebody's um, perspective, you know, I Google it, use keywords, you know, um, just be willing to see what is going to um, happen um, and to understand what it's like to be, um, you know, another person. And um, before I get dragged off, yeah, we should become nests of social innovation and disruptive ideas. Um, that's what's happened in the past at the museum with um, Minecraft. Um, kids from um, Alfriston um, Secondary School have just really made an amazing um, exhibition. Who, who knew? Who knew that kids could do that? I mean, uh, I wish I had the opportunity. So don't say no, just say yes. And aha koa he iti he Um Thank you very much, and excuse my um, pronunciation. Thank you.